Well, hey guys, I'm getting ready to break out the excavator and do a bunch of digging. I wonder what I got going on. Please check out this video. Well, hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping in. Boy, have I got some great things that are continuing to happen down here on my very back field where my big shed is. Uh, as you guys have seen in recent videos, I am working on getting uh, trees thinned out around the creek, uh, ditches dug so water can drain through this property. This is kind of a low area. Uh, and I've got some great announcements to make and I will show them to you. Uh, be sure to stick to the end because uh, it'll be a really cool reveal, but I got all the gutters installed and what I'm getting ready to do today is dig the ditches and get all of the PVC pipe in so we can run straight uh, from the gutter out, uh, the gutter downspouts and run them completely out of here to keep the water all away from the shed. So guys, come on, let's jump into it, dig a bunch of ditches. Again, please be sure uh, at the end, hang on to the end for the big reveal. And also guys, if you will, please be sure and hit that like for me. Uh, with the way uh, YouTube does their algorithms, if we don't do the likes uh, on the uh, videos that we make, they just wither and they don't get shown much. So I sure would appreciate it if you do that. All right guys, you know me, let's get busy. Dirt is hard and like clay, and it won't empty out on this little 12 inch bucket sometimes, so I'm having to clean it out. So, this is really fun. guys I made it around the uh, corner of the building and now I'm gonna be making a turn and I'm gonna be headed toward the creek just uh, past the pipe that I've got that where I drive across so I'm not quite halfway yet I cannot get over how hard this dirt is you know when I put the uh, lean-tos up I had kind of forgotten that uh, I had the hardest time getting the auger to cut through this top layer it's about I don't know, two and a half to three feet thick. And once you get down below that, it kind of gets sandy before this very top part. So anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm getting it done. It's just, uh, it's amazing how hard it is and how much it's sticking in the bucket. Now earlier today, before I got started, I had to change up buckets. I'll do a video sometime or another on uh, how you go about changing this. It takes a inch socket and you pull a little plate off and then you, uh, articulate out and the old bucket will let go and then you go over and grab the new one and uh, so anyway I first thing I did is that and then had to check all my fluid levels and then uh, I had to grease everything every time I'm learn learning uh, of course I'm very blessed I've got the uh, a guy who's very experienced on these that sold me this one and he doesn't mind me asking him a million questions and so uh, Anyway, uh, one thing I've learned so far is the part out on the end where the bucket is, there's four grease fittings out there and you want to grease those every time you go to use it because that is where all the work is done and that is where all the stress is, is that bucket curl in and out, in and out. So you make sure you grease those every single time. So guys, I gotta apologize to you and we're gonna kinda jump forward. And the reason being uh, is 
when once I got the the ditches dug installing all of that in the putting all the PVC pipe in it was almost 100 degrees that day and uh, these old GoPros they just won't operate in that kind of temperature and they shut off so unfortunately I do not have actually setting the pipe in the ditch but I can show you uh, what it looks like now and wow is it turning out great so anyway guys the gutters we went with the jumbos uh, got two big oversized downspouts to handle the water that's coming off all of that roof line and then we have run these down in the ground i've run them over i dug as you saw the main trench line and i've got them run over and they're feeding over to this ditch so this you know will stay dry one of the biggest problems that i'm working on fighting is especially up in this area is all the water that was coming off the roof here was coming right down and it was just running right through here so man is this making a massive difference and the other thing I'm currently working on now is as you can see let me get back here and I'll get lower is you can see that I've actually used the excavator I've cut a ditch and then I'm working with the pulverizer to feather it down and I've got all of where the water runs over to here away from the building and it runs all the way down through here and if I've got my sloping correct It'll just work its way over to the ditch and to the creek and go out of here. So I am just so tickled the way all this is turning out. Oh, and I had one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. I'll swing the camera around and show you. Uh, this area up here in the past has always been a bit big burn pile. I know you've seen in videos me working this. Uh, and even in this video, you saw the burn pile burning down in the background. Anyway, got all of that burned down, got all of that pushed and cleaned off. This area is going to become purpose for something different. And that'll be exci it's exciting project for me in the future. Uh, obviously, it'll be coming shortly. Uh, in the meantime, we have moved the burn pile over to the other side, as you've seen, to a, a part of the land that we don't use and that'll be what that's purpose for now so anyway really glad to see that done and got all of this cleaned up this is turning out great i got to do a little bit more grooming and get all of this worked in and we'll be ready to start bringing in gravel so this project is moving forward well guys always remember here at project next one there's always one more so definitely keep an eye out for videos coming uh and guys for now i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching we'll see you soon